Yo guys, this is Mokul coming at you live for with another awesome video and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo GameCube on Android on any TV with a controller. Let's get right into this. Yo guys, this is Mokul here and I'm going to be showing you how to set up Dolphin Emulator on your Android smartphone in order to play it on your TV with a controller. So first thing you want to do is download Dolphin Emulator. So what you gotta do here is just simply go into the app store and type in Dolphin and it should be the first or second one right here and then you just hit install and then open. So you're not gonna have these games here. What you're gonna wanna do is dump the ROMs yourself. Once you do that, what you wanna do is hop on a PC. Alright, so now we wanna plug in our phone to a PC. Now you are going to have to give access to your phone to your computer, from your phone to your computer. So just go ahead and click on tr file transfer. It's going to be different on everybody's phone though. So if your phone asks you if you want to allow your computer to access your phone, you hit yes. Alright, so first what you want to do is locate your ROM. So what you want to do is hit the Windows key and type in file. Once you hit file, you should open up the file explorer right here. What you want to do is locate your ROM. My ROM is on my hard drive, in this one right here. And here is my ROM. Now that we've located the ROM, what you want to do is go into your phone's file manager. So if you successfully connected your phone to your Windows PC and allowed your PC to gain access to your phone's files, what you want to do is now minimize this window and then open up another file explorer. Once you open up your other file explorer, what you want to do is click on this PC and then find your phone in the list here. My phone is this one right here. All right, then you want to click on internal shared storage. Now what you want to do is right click on a blank space and then hit new folder. Then what you want to do is name the folder ROMs. I already have one named ROMs, so I'm going to name it ROMs too. Once you have it set to ROMs 2, what you want to do is go on the top here, click the top bar, and then drag it to the right. Once you drag that to the right, another thing is going to pop up on the left side. The computer is asking you, what do you want on the left side of your screen? What you want to choose is the folder that your ROM is in, which is in my hard drive. Now what you want to do is simply click and drag the ROM over to your ROM's folder on your phone and let that transfer all right now once that is done transferring you are all finished with the computer all right so once you have successfully transferred your ROMs over to your phone what you want to do is open dolphin emulator you're not gonna have these games here just yet or maybe you might. Dolphin sometimes does find the games for you, but if it does not, I will quickly show you how to find the ROMs. What you want to do is click on the plus sign on the bottom right on your screen. Then what you want to do is scroll until you find the folder ROMs, which is right here, ROMs. And then what you want to do is hit select this directory. Since I have other ROMs for other consoles, I'm going to have these folders here, GameCube, Wii, and then hit select this directory. Then you should have all of these pop up here. Alright, so just to be 100% sure that your phone works with this, because you need to have a powerful device for this to work. Launch any game just to be sure that it runs. There it goes, yep. So as you can see, runs perfectly. Alright, so now, once you have confirmed that your phone can run the GameCube emulator, we could go and put it on the TV now. Alright, so now that you've successfully got Dolphin emulator set up, you got your ROMs that you successfully dumped yourself, what you gotta do now is connect a controller. So now, only an Xbox One controller works with this. You could connect a Nintendo Switch controller, but it just doesn't work, there's too much delay. The best controller to use for this will be the Xbox One controller. 
So now Xbox One controllers connect via Bluetooth. So what you want to do is go into your phone settings and then open up Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth and then connect your Xbox One controller. Now mine's going to connect to my phone automatically as you can see right there. But what you want to look for is Xbox wireless controller. Whoop, wrong thing. Xbox wireless controller. Right there. Alright. So now to do this, you go, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money but not much. More than I make in a year though. $14 on a USB Type-C or micro USB, whatever your phone uses, which if you're using a good phone, it's probably going to use Type-C. USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. Now, upon connecting your phone to the adapter, like so, right, your phone should just automatically go onto the TV screen. Hold on, got to get into there. Oh, there you go. And boom, now you have a mirror of your phone screen right there, just like that. Now, what you want to do is just open up Dolphin Emulator, just like that. As you can see, it's mirroring. And then, honest, and then obviously, you just choose your game. Not honestly, obviously. So we can do Wind Waker. The Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker. And now this will transfer audio and obviously your visual, but... Just to say battery life, because you don't actually need to have this on, put your um, brightness to zero, or to one, or the lowest possible setting. And there you go. Now, Dolphin emulator should automatically know you're using an Xbox controller, so you should not have to map it yourself. But if you guys do have that problem, where you have to map it yourself, make sure to join a Discord server, I will show you guys how to do that. Link is down in the description below. As you can see, works. 1080p, 16 by 9 aspect ratio with absolutely zero lag. So now, get into there. There you go. Take forever, there you go. Yep, no lag. There you go. I can't even tell you guys how cool this is. Like, I can't even... There's no way to show you guys, like, how genuine this feels. Like, how it, it feels like I'm playing an actual console. The unfortunate part is your phone screen has to stay on the entire time. So, if you try to lock it, the, the, the game's gonna turn off. So, like I said, this works with literally any game. As long as your phone can run it, you should have zero issues. So, like, uh, Sonic Heroes, there you go, perfect game, great game, Sonic Heroes, such an underrated game, I don't care what anybody says, I love Sonic Heroes, and there you go, full screen, 16 by 9, 1080p, no lag whatsoever, as you can see, A button, so yeah, you can play it, just like you're on a console, at full screen, 1080p, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It's awesome. Don't you just love technology? But yeah. So I'm going to be sitting here playing some Sonic Heroes, enjoying my uh, childhood. And yeah. So if you guys want more videos, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you guys need any help with anything about ROMs or anything about setting up your phone, or like anything at all. If you guys need help, just make sure to join the Discord server. The link is down in the description below. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need any help with anything at all, make sure to join the Discord server. The link is down in the description below. But as you always say, stay awesome.